It's like that video, everything's gonna start out blurry and then come into focus. Cause this is math. That was dorky, but you're thinking that was dorky. Okay, so here we go. What we want to do is we want to learn about the commutative and associative properties. Okay? So we'll start with uh, commutative. Okay? First off, it's difficult to say. Commutative. Okay? Um, essentially what this tells us, this property tells us is that if you, um, you can add numbers in any order and you still get the same answer. Okay? So if you do A plus B equals C, well then you can also do B plus A. And that's going to equal C. Alright? That's commutative. You can do it with addition or what's addition's best friend? Multiplication. Um, fun fact, addition and subtraction, arch nemesis. Um, multiplication and division, they're twin brothers who hate each other. And then uh, multiplication and addition, they get along, division subtraction, they're best friends and villains, obviously. Um, so, here we go. That's a fun fact for you. Okay, commutative property you can add or you can do with multiplication. A times B is the same as B times A. Uh, for instance, you can do A times B equals C or you can do B times A equals C. It's going to get the same answer, okay? Commutative property means that. Um, for example, 7 plus 3 equals 10, right? I can do 3 plus 7, and that's going to equal 10 as well. Okay, same thing with multiplication. 3 times 7 is 21. 7 times 3 is 21. Once again, it's just one of those properties that we use whenever we're working on, you know, uh, proofs or things that you never use in real life. Okay? Cool. Now let's look at the associative property. Associative property. Okay, um, when you think, when you hear the word associative, you think of, oh, this is my associate. That means you work together, okay? Well, just like that, the associate property means that when you group three or more um, numbers through addition or multiplication, they work together, okay? So, for instance, you can do um, A plus B uh, plus C. We'll say that equaled an answer D. Well, you could also do A plus C and then add B on there, and it'll still equal D. Or you could do B plus C. And add A on there, and it'll still be D, okay? It means that we can rearrange these right here, these addition, these sum, you can rearrange this addition problem and get the same sum, okay? So that's neato, neato cheeto. All right, for instance, let's use some numbers in it. Sound good? No, it doesn't? Well, let's do it anyways. Okay. Let's say we've got um, 7, 3, and 4, okay? 7 plus 3 is 10, plus 4 is 14. All right, now let's do 3, 4, and 7, and then we'll do 4, 7, and 3. All right, let's see if these all work out. According to the associative property, it should. So 3 plus 4 is 7, plus 7 is 14. We're good, we're good. 7 plus 4 is 11, plus 3 is 14. We are still good. Now, just like we talked about earlier with the commutative property, we did addition and its best friend and partner in crime, just like Batman and Superman, which if you have Superman, why do you need Batman? Because Superman can pretty much do everything. Same thing with multiplication. Um, you do A times B times C and get D. Same thing with all of it, okay? You can rearrange this mug and you're still going to get that same answer. All right? Any way you group it. Any way you want it. You don't know that song? It's okay. You're not 50 years old. Okay. I am 50 years old, by the way. In case you're wondering, you're like, oh, you look 50. Oh, that's because I am. Okay. You also are like, oh, he sounds like a, like a redneck girl. Well, I have feelings, too. It's just when I talk about feelings, I sound like a redneck girl. Sorry. Um, okay. We prefer Southern, not redneck. Thank you very much. That's just a fun fact for you. Okay. So, and then the last one was, I don't know, I lost focus. A, C, B. Equals D. Okay? Let's try it with some numbers. How about it? Shorts! Okay? Let's do 7 times 3, because we've been sticking with that, times 4. 7 times 4 and 3, and then 4 times 3 and 7. I wish I'd use lower numbers, because I'm going to look dumb when I can't do the multiplication. 7 times 3 is 21, times 4 is 84. Okay? 7 times 4 is 28, times 3 is 84. And then we got... Yes, that's correct. Okay, and then 4 times 3 is 12, times 7 is 84. That's correct. 
So it works out. Of course it does. It's the associate property. I wouldn't be teaching about it if it didn't work out. So, now you know. Commutative and associate properties. And enjoy yourself. Hello. Thank you for coming to Tarver Academy. Please subscribe. Maybe.